Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. Today we are back with another Rebuilding the Assets video. Two things before we get started. One, there is going to be no face cam for this video as you can tell. It just kind of didn't work out for this video. I am currently in a recording location that is not my usual location. So I do apologize for the poor audio quality maybe. Um, I don't have a pop filter on my mic at the moment so I do apologize about that as well um, and you'll also probably get a little bit more of an ASMR vibe from this video not intentional but I'm just recording a little bit later at night um, at the moment so just gonna kind of have to bear with me on this one but I figured it would be okay for just a one-off video and today the rebuilding assets video that we are going to be doing is going to be a little bit of a quicker one um, but still one that I am very excited about nonetheless I did want to do something a little bit more simple before hopping back into the bigger stuff here today we are going to be recreating Gogeta's end screen from the end of his active skill I am a huge fan of this screen it is <laughs> I think my favorite KO screen in the game is just so good every Everything that leads up to that moment is fantastic and the light shining through on Gogeta is just oh, so good lads so good so that is what we're going to be recreating today it should be a pretty easy rebuild um, there is a couple things that I wanted to know about the build specifically before we got started here one as you can see before this point the entire screen is dark because obviously everything around them is dark from Shinron being wished and then the Kamehameha kind of breaks that but then it goes dark again after it's quiet again um, so I wanted to make this part but realistically it just kind of doesn't fit um, you'll see as we look at the asset sheets here there are some things um, or you can see um, not that I'll talk about that in a second where Gogeta still has little key blasts you know they kind of like flicks off his finger at the end right even with the pose there and I think uh, oh no that's not there my bad so I did want to do that but it just doesn't really work because the actual active skill doesn't have really anything here it's basically just a black screen with the boy gogeta chilling there so we are going to be recreating this section here i will tell you though um one thing that we are going to do though um is we are going to not only use this gogeta we are also going to use the one where his finger is flicked um just for a little bit of difference a little bit of variety i might update this one later down the line but for now, this is what we are going to be going with today. As you can see, these are all the different ashes sheets. I've kind of gone through them a couple times now. This is going to be um, probably the hardest part, funny enough, um, working with all of these. And I actually forgot to cut one out, so we'll do that as I'm talking. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention that's going to be interesting um, to see with this video is how um the sizing makes a difference and uh, this will kind of be an off-camera thing but up until this point when i've done rebuilding the assets i've done it in a very specific size that i didn't and not that it was bad but i kind of didn't like it as much um and so today we're actually going to be using this um basically base resolution here with the Gogeta loading screen um, to be able to accomplish a bigger rebuild um, and to make it a little bit more high quality as well as fit a phone wallpaper here. So we're going to be using that as our canvas. Um, this series will only get easier as I am able to um, use my new computer because I'll be able to have a bunch of different things on a bunch of different screens but unfortunately at the moment I don't have it available to me. So let me go cut this out real quick. Um, I know you're watching me struggle with this and probably screaming because it's super easy. There we go. Wonderful. And then we will be right back once we have all of the pieces on our canvas. All right. So one thing to note before we begin here, obviously these assets are much, much smaller than our base canvas resolution. So we will see how it turns out in the end. Stretching this stuff is obviously going to make it a little bit more pixelated, especially since it is kind of pixelated already. Um, of course, something else interesting to note here um, is if we take a look at the assets right let's flip this piece the other way um, one thing that's really interesting is if we take a look at this you can see that actually a lot of this is cut out here um, oh, shout out to the homie truth if I didn't say that already for the screenshot I just snapped that from one of his showcases of Gogeta um, but it's interesting that as you can see here this side of the mountain right here 
and I believe the other side as well. Yeah, you literally don't even see all of this, which is so crazy to me um, that they cut all of that out. So I suppose it doesn't matter if we make it super big and cut a lot of out of it. Um, I think it'll be okay. One other really interesting thing about this is I think the, they do it for this way because the sky kind of gives off the illusion like it's moving a little bit um, in the final piece. But as you can see, the sky, the top half of this image, is literally just a square. I find that super interesting. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this set up here. Again, this should be a pretty quick rebuild. Um, I just wanted to do something a little bit more simpler to kind of get back in the swing of things um here's what we're going to do as well um you guys know that i like to keep a regular version of the layer just in case something happens to go wrong uh, during the build why are you not letting me move thank you i appreciate it um okay i guess it oh because it's locked gotcha all right so we're going to keep an extra copy of anything under layer one just in case we need it all right so let's stretch this i pressed the wrong key my bad bro zoom that up okay so this is going to be interesting it's kind of interesting how they do this because they sort of cut off the bottom half of this with the rock formation, which should be here, I believe. Very, very interesting. I guess that that is a way of doing it. I don't know if I would necessarily do it, but I guess it's a good way to kind of, you know, use the resources that you have. I'm just going to click it that way. It's way easier for that kind of funny that they literally just like hide stuff behind other things i don't know i just think that's interesting because literally what they're doing is they're hiding the image of the bottom section of the rocks just like behind this which i think is really interesting let's pop that up to full size perfect we want that to be as exact as we can be there we go so as you can see right if we refer back to this you can't really see the bottom section of the rocks are just kind of cut off so let's move that down a little bit let's see where does it meet up with there um okay so it's a, just the slant where on the slant are we here how do we be able to see this okay so that dark section right there um is just about where there is a the right side of that has the dip okay so wow interesting this doesn't actually fit um quite properly with the images at full size i assume the case here is probably something more along the lines of you know they stretch the images and have them move differently so that it gives the illusion of moving during the actual essay um, we will rebuild it both ways then because that will be a way to kind of give you a different look at both of these we'll try and recreate it to the best of our ability and we will also make a version where it is accurate to the actual size of our image here shouldn't be too hard to do and then that way we can get a little bit more out of this video hey eh, lads let's see so that should be just about right size okay interesting so that does fit decently well i do see a little bit of um a hair there can i click that there we go like a hair of overlap is that better no we're gonna have to make that like just a tiny bit bigger i forget that sometimes the edges of these images rather look a little wacky let's slap that under here so i think that'll probably look a little bit more natural you can still see the line though and you can also see the line on the other side that's a little bit frustrating interesting okay i assume that this merges a little bit better at a certain point yeah that's also something interesting to know if we take a look at the top of this section you can see that the edges of this are actually jagged i assume that they're made like that so that in the game it can properly merge up with the top section but obviously for us that kind of doesn't work as well um, because we get some like dead pixels there basically um this doesn't look too bad um but you can see the line what i think i'll probably do is i'll do a little bit of an editing trick um something very simple and i'm sure that there's a better way to do it than the way i'm going to do it but just for the sake of making it look a little bit more um what would be the right word here a little bit more 
natural, I guess. Um, that wasn't really what I wanted to say, but I guess it works. Um, I will do my little editing trick there. Now, Gogeta obviously is like super tiny here. Look at him, perfect, bam. We'll make him a little bit bigger. Again, this is also part of the reason why I like to save um, normal copies of these images when I use them, because then that way we can not absolutely decimate the original resolution and we still have a copy of it all right perfect so let's get rid of that gogeta um how big do you look here okay so he has that one rock right there basically between his legs okay so let's expand our boy here a little bit that looks a little bit better i don't think that's too big we could always reverse it if that's the case um let's see is that just a yeah, it's just something there. Okay. Sorry. I thought that these little dots that I believe are just like leftovers from, um, oh no, maybe there's not dots. Am I tripping? Oh no. Okay. I guess it was just something on my monitor. Well, look at me, stinky gamer, not cleaning my screen. All right. So let's see that cloud matches about there. I don't know if that will necessarily help us out. Eh, kinda. I mean, you can see it there, but this is definitely not the correct position for Gogeta. I'm trying to see how much of his boots are showing here. Let's zoom in. Okay, so quite a bit actually. I thought that it was going to be a lot less. I don't think that they tilt him at all either. I think he's just kind of naturally on a tilt. It's really weird though, I will say, because it, it kind of looks like his shoulder pads are sort of the same color as his skin. I don't think that's necessarily intentional. I think it's just kind of the lighting effect. It even looks like that here. Um, yeah, that looks about right. I think maybe we could do, here, let's scooch that over a little bit so we can try and get a, yeah, perfect. Look at that transformation. Yeah, okay, that looks about right. All right, so I do think, though, it probably needs to be, hmm, a little bit bigger, maybe? Yeah, it definitely looks like it needs to be a little bit bigger. So let's increase the size of our boy here. Yeah, this is definitely going to have to go into the... Um, the waifu to make it look a little bit more uh, a little bit more clean as it were good right there. Let's see Yeah, that's a bow in the same place it, again Like I say in every single one of these that I do it's not perfect um, But it is as close to the original as we can get it Let's see. Yeah, that Basically is there I think let's see it's probably more like right there. Yeah, then yeah okay actually that looks really good let's look at our full piece now def wow actually that's pretty cool i'm not gonna lie that actually looks pretty decent wow i really like that okay so here's what we're gonna do um this is a really simple trick <laughs> doctors hate him one simple trick <laughs> so let me see here we have this piece um behind our sky section so Here's what we're gonna do. To make a easy little merger here. Whoops, I didn't mean to delete the layer. Yes, get rid of the layer. That's what I was gonna say, no. Um, we're going to duplicate it, and then we're going to get rid of this one. And then we are going to move this one down just a tiny bit, okay? Now, obviously, um, the top should start showing any minute here now. Um, and obviously, you can still see the line. That's kind of the point. So, Actually, let's see how it looks with it all the way down. Uh, that actually looks a lot more clean, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do then. Um, what we will do, but once you zoom in even a little bit, you can see. So we'll use that one as the base, actually. Here's what we're gonna do. Um, the idea here, you can see that the pixels are moving a little bit. The idea here is that we are going to make this look a little bit more natural and try and get rid of that nasty line. So I don't know if this is going to work necessarily as well as I want it to because I don't think I've ever tried it in this way before, but it should be okay. So basically we're just going to kind of take a little bit, uh, a little bit to the edge here and I'm just realizing that this isn't working because I'm literally not solving the problem. The idea is that we should be able to do this. Hmm. Hmm, let me think about this. How would we solve this issue? Because usually what I would do is I would give it a little bit of a uh, little bit of a cleanup here with another image in the background so that it would look a little bit more natural. But because both of them kind of have a line, it sort of doesn't work. Um, 
All right, let me let me think of a solution and then we will be right back. All right, so here is the final result, what I've come up with. It wasn't what I wanted to do entirely, but I think it is what I am going to leave it with for now. I am actually pretty satisfied with this. There are some things that I think I could figure out how to do, and maybe I'll try and consult some of my more Photoshop-esque friends to be able to help me out with this. Um, but what I actually did to cover up the line a little bit um, is, I used Gaussian Blur, funny enough. So if we take a look, if I get rid of this, right, you can see that, um, especially if we zoom in, right, a lot of this looks super pixelated, but I made it a little bit blurry, right? And if we go up to the top section, especially, and we put the last one on, you can see that it is super grainy. Um, but what I did to kind of merge the images together a little bit um, is I used the Gaussian Blur um, to just well, blur them together, frankly. Um, I don't think it looks too bad, to be honest with you. I think that there are definitely some improvements that could be made to it. Um, but I think for now it is pretty good and honestly the line is kind of hard to tell that it's there It kind of just looks more like the sky Maybe it's just because I've been looking at it for a little bit But I can really only see a little bit of it in the darker section of the sky where the line cuts off if we um or to close everything here like around there is where it looks like it is a little bit more uh, profound so definitely not bad um, I am 100% very very happy with how this thing turned out um, I didn't think it was gonna turn out this good I will admit I'm not going to make a version where it is closer to what the in-game one looks like because honestly thinking about it it's basically just zooming the image in and just kind of looking at it that way so this is basically like a full out of bounds type of version like basically if we wanted the version that's on that screen yeah there you go <laughs> it's basically just that right if we cut off the edges so if you would like to do that, I suppose you could do that to yourself, or do that to yourself, do it yourself if you really wanted to look a little bit closer. But I like this a lot. I think it's really cool seeing the whole thing, especially without the giant KO in your face. I think it looks very nice. And I think the blur that I did add as well kind of adds more to it and takes away because in the game it looks so nice. And even in the background, you can see the grain. It just kind of looks super disgusting. Um, I think it's just harder to tell that the line is there just because you're not really looking at that. I can kind of see the line here. Let's grab the um, our paintbrush tool. Oh, that's a thick paintbrush, bro. You can kind of see it uh, around here-ish, sort of like right there. If you look at the top section here, it's a lot more grainy than it is down here. So I, I honestly think that they they just did it that way, that they didn't really care about the grain on the top and they just kind of enhance the image very interesting not really how i thought that this worked i'm gonna be honest but hey that's why i love this series because it's very interesting to see how these essays actually work with the assets that are in the game so i am actually very very happy with how this turned out i'm going to be posting this uh for the dokkan assets account obviously tomorrow or well i guess today when you're watching this video um so i hope you guys enjoy that i think i will actually be using this as my wallpaper i'm not gonna lie because it looks very very nice i will see what it looks like putting it through the waifu as well but for now that is everything that i have for you today i hope you guys enjoyed this video I definitely enjoyed making it expect some more rebuilding the asset stuff coming up here in the coming weeks I do want to do a bunch of different Gogeta and Vegito stuff as well because obviously there's so much to do with them right now so hope you guys enjoy when that comes along and I will see you in the next one having you two out aka Dokkan assets peace